Here we go for my hill climb. Here's the MN82. See what it can do. <laughs> no rhyme intended. <laughs> See on the transmitter, we have a steering trim. Then we have a ESP that has no knob to it. Throttle rate, which is gonna be your first high speed and then the second one has a drag brake. And then your light switch, turn your light on and off. Then we have two more fake buttons and an on and off switch. They did put like a little thumb control here, but it's not that ergonomic, so it doesn't work that well. But I have the drag brake on, so that's pressing the button right there for the throttle rate. Let's get this thing going. rock crawl here for this trail truck. Now some things I've done, I changed the front springs. The front springs are actually from a 14 scale RGT crawler. The uh, Defender crawler that they had back in the day with the big diffs on it. And I took the rear springs off of the dampers because you know you already have leaf springs back there why do you need you know springs on the dampers and i have a 3d printed rear bumper and 3d printed uh, rear fenders just to save the body a little bit on this trail run they're not the prettiest and they're not the best 3d print but you can always print it better i had to push it there but still made it stock tires seem to be doing well in the heat Wow, this is impressive. The smoothness is pretty good actually too. The speed is kind of slow on the low rate though, but this is the drag brake rate. Put it in the other rate real quick. Okay, it gets going now, but no drag brake. We're gonna go ahead and try this line here. It's gonna be a pretty difficult line. Oh my gosh, that was pretty impressive. I got a giant rock in my way now. And it still plowed through it. All right, time to put it back in the low rate for some drag brake. Impressively hasn't flipped over yet. Or rolled over. Oh, hang up there in the rear, but I think I can pull it through. I'm full throttle right now. Oh, there you go, pulled through. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Now this side hill here, let's see if we have enough power in this low range or in the drag brake gear. Oh, these tires aren't that bad. Oh, okay. Maybe spoke too soon. They're slippery. But still good enough. Look at that. My roll here. Should I turn it up a little bit in the throttle? Oh, no. Let's see what we can do. Nice.
See if we can do this little climb right here. It's more of a tire test than anything really right here. Oh man, my 3D printed bumper is hanging up back there. Scale issues right there, scale problems. Come on, pull through. There you go. Let me see if I can turn the rate up. There we go. Just need some wheel speed. Well, all right, let's go ahead and do the hill climb. See what this can do. Poor line choice by me right there. Too long to get up on that section. I'll just do this side. Let's see if we can do this technical section right here, though. Let's give it a bump. Oh, dude, that was sweet. This thing is impressive, guys. Stock trail truck right here. You don't even need to modify it. It's fun the way it is. Well. You know, get rid of the rear shock and change the different shock in the front so you have more softer flex and stuff. Hang on here. Can't make it past a section. There you go. Well, there you go, guys. The MN82 did such a great job. I'm really impressed, guys. I would run this thing stock for sure. No problem whatsoever. It's fun. Well, there you go, guys. What a rig by MN model. Surprised. I actually like it. Well, thanks for watching as usual, guys. I hope you enjoy that. And as always, stay safe out there. Go have fun and run that RC.